वेलकम टू ऑल ऑन सेटिसिप लर्न टूडेज टॉपिक इज थ्री डायमेंशन ज्योमेट्री प्लस टू मैथ इन विच फुट ऑफ अपेंडिकल पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट विल बी डिस्कस बाय यूजिंग द क्वेश्चन दिस लेट पी बी द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन टू लाइन्स एल वन एल टू Then the shorter distance of P from the line is four options are given to you. One of the options is correct. Question is taken from JEE Mains 2024. Applicable for the 12th standard JEE Mains, CUT, and other entrance examinations. Let's start the question. Concept applicable and solution. Concept applicable through this question. Three steps are to be followed. First, we have to find the point of intersection of two lines. Then, put a perpendicular of point from line, and finally, the distance between the two lines. One by one, we will be discuss each. Any general point of the line. If a line is given, standard form of line is x minus x1 upon a, y minus y1 upon b. Equal to zero minus zero one upon c. We are A B C are the direction ratios of the line. A B C are direction ratios, and x one y one z one is the passing point. Means we can say this is the line passing through the point x one y one z one and parallel to the line whose direction ratios are A B C. Be very very careful before finding the direction ratio and passing point. Coefficient of x, y, and z should be one. Coefficient of x, y, z should be one before finding finding these two points. Right now, if any general point on the line, if line is given, this general point is given. Say in this question, this is the line. Say this is alpha. This is another line. This is beta. From line one, we can find x equal to two alpha plus two, y equal to five alpha plus four, z equal to alpha plus two. Right. And another line L2 is given to you. उसके लिए हमने बीटा जन x इक्वल टू टू बीटा प्लस थ्री वाई इक्वल टू थ्री बीटा प्लस टू जेड इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व बीटा प्लस थ्री राइट नाउ टू लाइन आर गिवन टू लाइन L1, लाइन L2. Right, this is the point P. Let this general point be. Let this general point be P, and let this general point be P. Means P is the point of intersection of these two. Now, as this is point P, this is point P. This is called set A. इसको मान लिया सेट बी राइट नाउ एज द पॉइंट इज बोथ पॉइंट आर सेम देयर फॉर वी कैन राइट टू अल्फा प्लस टू कैन बी रिटेन एज टू बीटा प्लस थ्री एंड सेकेंड फाइव अल्फा प्लस फोर इक्वल टू थ्री अल्फा बीटा प्लस टू अल्फा प्लस टू इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व बीटा प्लस थ्री Make two equations, then two, three. Solve these two. We get on solving. We get alpha equal to minus one, beta equal to minus one. Alpha equal to minus one. Now to check whether these two lines intersect, yes or no. Put value of Alpha and beta in equation third, right? 
if satisfied yes lines are intersecting right now to find the point of intersection to find point of intersection put alpha beta either is at a put alpha beta in set a or set b set a mein alpha put karenge set b mein beta put karenge answer will be same therefore point p on solving comes out to be One minus one and one. This is the point P, right? Point of intersection of two lines is now no complete procedure has been discussed. Now, further question will be: This is line L one. This is line L one. This is line L two. This is line L one. This is point P. How many coordinates? One minus one one. One minus one one. Right. This is the line L. This is the line L. We have to find the distance from this point to this point. This is L. This is foot of perpendicular. Foot of perpendicular. Right. To find the foot of perpendicular, see, see. This is the line. Means general point is given. General point is given means first reducing into standard form. Reducing in standard form. X upon one by four equal to y upon one by two equal to z upon one equal to lambda. So x equal to lambda by four, y equal to lambda by two, z equal to lambda. That is the set C. This is C, and is point. And earlier discussed, any line is given is one general point can be given, and that general point can be specified according to the requirement of the question. In this case, our requirement is to find an n is a point of foot of perpendicular, right? Right. Now, if two given lines are given to you, then direction of the line. This is point. This is point. This point is now lambda by four. Lambda by four. This is point lambda by four, lambda by two, and lambda. This point n. This point is given to you. Then direction ratios will be direction ratios of line P N will be A two B two C two A two B two C two will be equal to lambda by four minus lambda by four minus one. Lambda by two minus plus one, and lambda by lambda minus one. As direction ratios are given by x two minus x one, y two minus y one, z two minus z one, right? And direction ratios are given line for two lines to perpendicular a one a two plus b one b two plus c one c two equal to zero. These are the a two b two c two a one b one c one r. Give me line. Give me one by four, one by two, and one. Substituting and find value of lambda. Substituting and find value of lambda. Right. The lambda comes out to be four by seven. Lambda comes out to be four by seven. 
means put up a print good put value of lambda in set c point n that is put up a perpendicular will be 1 by 7 2 by 7 and 4 by 7 right now distance between two lines actual requirement is to find the distance between two lines so that is under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square this will be p n coordinate p is given coordinate n is given substituting values we get p n will be equal to 3 root 14 upon 2 right 3 root 14 upon 2 this will be the answer d this is the answer d this d option is correct d option is correct i think it will be clear right calculation i think very very simple plus minus calculation is there you can do it very well i will clear the all oh, the concept applicable right now i will request if you are new to my youtube channel set this subscribe and like this video please subscribe and share the channel press bell icon to receive updates on upcoming concept killing videos on thank you dhanyawad bahut bahut dhanyawad ji bahut